Hello, true duelists. My name's Craig Fee, and welcome to the New Card Report. We've got our second look at cards from the upcoming Phantom Nightmare set. The spiritual successor to Phantom Darkness, a set that broke open Dark Monster support in 2008, with game warping staples such as Dark Refer, Allure of Darkness, and the legendary Dark Armed Dragon. So, now 15 years later to carry on that set's legacy, an archetype of retrains of sorts and support for light ritual monsters. I don't decide, I don't make the choices here, I just talk about them. On to the cards. We start first with Navox, the Silent Forcer Disciple. A level 1 light fairy with 0 attack and 2050 defense, offering those types of players yet another opportunity to make comments such as thick. Probably. As for the effects, on normal or special summon, it can place a continuous Silent Force spell or trap from your deck onto your field, and even better, if you summon a Light Dragon or Warrior Ritual Monster to your field while this is in your grave, you can summon it back out, with no consequences or locks. And it's going to end up in your graveyard, don't you worry, because it counts as all levels needed for the tribute of a Ritual Summon of a Light Dragon or Warrior type Ritual Monster. Now, I already made the thick joke about possibly the most clothed character this game has ever seen because of the defense stunt, so instead I'll focus on how solid of a card this is. The revive doesn't banish or lock you when it comes back, and it sets the speller trap directly to your field, getting around the usual trap too slow weakness that pink cards are afflicted with. And spoiler alert, this card's setting cards, you know, the continuous spell and the continuous trap, pretty, pretty solid. Plus, it's fucking sure it. So, all in all, it's a good start to a deck, isn't it? And as for you nostalgia fans, yes, this is the same monster as the one that appeared in 2002's Novox's Prayer. And for those of you who are in the same boat as me and were like, what are you talking about? It's nostalgia bait for a ritual card and spell from 2002. The more you know. Safira, the wise silent forcer queen, follows up our Navox friend and is the talk of the town because they done made the dragon woman into a, a ju just a woman. The furries are in shambles. Probably. <laughs> like the original Safira, this is a level 6 light dragon with 2500 attack and 2400 defense. This one's effect, however, is to discard itself, to send a ritual spell from your deck to the grave, and then add a light warrior or dragon ritual monster from your deck to your hand. But. You might be thinking, why would you foolish the spell? That's because you can actually just banish this from your grave to ritual summon a light dragon or warrior from your hand in the tried and true tribute monsters who levels equal or exceed the number of the ritual monster you're summoning. Now, it goes without saying that I find this card to be a tragedy because I like dragon, dragon Sephira, or at least in regards to the art more, but if this is what it takes to make that card playable, then I'll make a concession, I suppose. Not like I have a choice. As for the card effects, it works wonderfully with, you know, the original Sephira's uh, ritual spell, Hymn of Light, because that can banish itself to the, prevent the destruction of a ritual monster you control. So that that's groovy. And it sets up the second effect with its first one, because it's in the grave and gets a ritual, and now you can make a ritual play. Holy shit, Mom, it synergizes with itself. Plus, if you've got Navox, you've got the easiest Sephira summon of your life. Or Saravis. And speaking of Saravis... Saravis, the Sagely Silent Forcer Dragon. It's got the same stat line as the original Ritual Monster had, and this one can summon itself by shuffling two spells from your hand and or grave into the deck, which, thank God, at least one of them will need to be a Ritual spell, because otherwise this card could have been straight up Nutter Butter. While on the field, it can quick effect bounce itself back to your hand and then summon a Light Dragon or Warrior Ritual from the deck, but that Ritual Monster is shuffled back into the deck during the next end phase. Holy shit, it's Saravis Turbo from Saravis. Fitting. The Ritual Saravis was always a very solid card for its in-hand effect to protect from targeting, and its on-field effect was actually just as good. We've just never had a deck that could meaningfully make use of summoning it. But now it seems we do. Which, to be clear, it can negate a special summon and banish the monster that was summoned, if I'm not mistaken. And, and then it returns itself to the hand so you can use its discarding effect to protect from target. Pretty good, pretty good card. And this new version cheats it out and sets itself up to repeat it since it bounces itself to hand and it puts Saravis in hand, so it's... Whoa, mom, gamers. All in all, I think that's a pretty, pretty solid thing to do. Plus, in order to do it, you're reshuffling spells into the deck. There's no guarantee that you'll see the same spell cards again, but there's a chance you could, like, Feather Duster twice in one duel, which is pretty cool. 
So fuck it, I'll take it. My only real complaint is why doesn't he, why, why doesn't he not have legs? Why does he have legs? Cause, cause he's a person? I don't care. The original is a noodle and clearly this should be a mermaid to match that. I will not be elaborating on that sentence and I also will not be accepting criticism for this opinion at this time or ever. Skull Guardian, the silent forcing protecto? <laughs> I, think I, I think I forgot an R in the script, protecto. The silent forcing protector is up next. This is a retrain of Skull Guardian. 2002 zone gets the boss monster treatment, becoming a level eight light ritual warrior with 2050 attack and 2500 defense. But this time it can be summoned using silent forcing prayer. So that's how you know it's a better card. On ritual summon, this will allow you to add a silent force monster from your deck to your hand or a light dragon or warrior ritual monster, whichever it is you're feeling. And while you control Navox, the silent forcer disciple, you'll be getting two bonus effects. The first will double its attack, or I guess, gives it 2050 attack, however you want to word it, but functionally it doubles the attack to be 4100, which is some real thickness. And better yet, you can also quick effect negate the activation and destroy any opponent's card, because it's just a, it's just an Omni negate, so long as you control Novox. It's a giant Omni, so long as you have the self-summoning Stratos that you'll be turboing out anyways. So yeah, I suppose that's decent. I think you can make plays with that accordingly. It's a strong boss, it searches, and it looks cool. Against all odds, however, I think I prefer the art of the original 2002 monster. That one just looks dope. Just a shame that it has one printing exactly and currently costs about $100. Thankfully, this isn't the Hungry Burger type of support though, so at least you don't need it. You just don't get to have it, so sucks to be you, and also me. But uh, uh, the, the, the boss monster's good. Shocking. Up next, we got Silent Forcing Prayer, the new ritual spell mentioned by Skull Guardian 2. And it mentions Skull Guardian 2 in its text, so it's pre-pep time, baby. Woo! Pre-preparation of rights, I love consistency. This can ritual summon a light ritual monster by tributing monsters whose levels exceed or equal as is tradition from the hand or field. And in the grave, if a light ritual monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, this can banish itself to summon a copy of either Sephira, Queen of Dragons, Saravis, the Ancient and Ascended, or Skull Dragon, the Silent Forcing Protector. Holy shit, they're pseudo kaiju proof. Kaiju me, boom, another one. That's right. You can bust Saravis out this way too. So you got disruption and protection in one card just because you got, you know, your monster got rid of. Or maybe you got a 4100 attack Omni negate. That's pretty insane, all things considered. The new Sephira also sends this to the grave, so you don't ever need to use it to ritual summon, but you can still get it there turbo quick. And then, you know, just have incentive for your opponent to not disrupt your board, which is pretty fucking decent. A lot more playable than the Memento one that they got, because Memento bad, but Sephira good. I, I, I don't know. Kind of makes your, your ritual monsters like pseudo Burning Abyss-esque. They're all just graph. That's pretty cool. I like it. Silent Forcer Barrier is our first continuous spell for the deck and your go-to for Novox. That will make it so while you control Novox or any light ritual monster, your non-ritual monsters can't be targeted for attacks and all your light monsters cannot be targeted by the opponent's card effects, which is a very solid effect to protect your board and make your entire you know deck imperm proof. That's reasonable. Oh, if only it was a searcher as well. Oh wait, it is. Yep. Once per turn, this can add either a Skull Guardian Ritual Monster or a Silent Force card from your deck to your hand. So you can search the original Vanilla Ritual for all 20 people who own it, or any other card in the deck, including the Ritual Spell, if you'd like to get, you know, searching going or shuffle it back with Saravis or like, this, this plays, you can do things. There's a lot better things you can search in the Ritual Spell, but you could. It's possible. It's like a Ritual Cage, but good. Now that's impressive because Ritual Cage kind of super mid AF TBH and other things humans say to communicate. What we're looking at here is as close to Rituals we'll get to Spiral Resort for quite some time I imagine. And that's a good card so I'm going to go ahead and say that this one is at the very least decent. And then up last is the Trap card. A continuous one so like I said Navox cheats it out which is so much better than it would be otherwise. 
Silent Forcing Authority can, during the main phase, activate one of two effects. Either shuffle a light dragon or warrior ritual monster, or a ritual spell from your hand or grave into the deck, and then if you do, take a Silent Force monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Which means you've got more means to get it to Novox, which is cool, uh, but, you know, that, 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 that's worth it. You'd probably rather get Novox to get this than use this to get Novox, but beggars can't be choosers is what I mean to say. The other effect, if you choose to activate it instead, will let you target cards on the opponent's side of the field up to the number of light dragon or warrior ritual monsters you control, and then destroy those targets as well as this card. Check it out. The art has the human and the not mermaid and the dragon forms of these cards, which is very nice. So is the effect, it's solid. You've got more means to set up your graveyard, bidding human Sephira to let you ritual summon, or as said, get back a Novox and on the opponent's turn, and then, you know, use the pop effect and you've got at least presumably a one for one going on. Lord knows I've covered worse traps in my year or so of doing this, so there's really not too, too much to complain about. All in all, it looks like a very solid and very playable deck. We can be thankful that they seem to have designed this with the intent of not having it just become Herald or Drytron Turbo in mind. By specifying Dragon and Warrior, we're safe from a decent amount of Herald shenanigans. I'm not saying it won't happen at all, I'm saying it could be worse, so Copium, Topium, we'll, we'll run with that. And the divine comedy of making the monster have 2050 attack to make Drytron's fall just short of it is absolutely hilarious. It's also completely unintentional since it literally just copied the stat line of a card printed 20 years before Drytrons even existed as a concept, but it's still funny. This is a cool wave of nostalgia support, connecting some ritual monsters who were previously only linked by their ritual spells. Skull Guardian's ritual spell depicts Novox's prayer, which has Novox on it, which is legally not Red Riding Hood, who appears in the art for Sprite's Blessing, the ritual spell mentioned by Saravis, and Sprite's Blessing takes place in the exact same place as shown in Hymn of Light, which is the ritual spell for Sephira. So it's all connected. And it goes deeper than that because Hymn of Light also depicts the dark magic circle according to the Yugipedia trivia page, better known to us all as the source for all truth in the universe. Yes, that's right, folks. It was Dark Magician support the entire time. There's no escape. Only the ultimate wizard in our terms of attack and defense. All the way down. <laughs> Actually, as is, we have a level one that can be helped out by Diviner of the Herald and the like, one for one that can summon itself when you ritual summon to search a searcher that can protect your searcher to search what becomes a 4100 Omni Negate also searcher and then, you know, have a bonus for getting back your self-reviving searcher. I'm not saying it's broken, I'm just saying it's playable. The only crime is, they aren't just more dragony versions. We have enough people in the game, Lord knows the one thing Yu-Gi-Oh is lacking is dragons. <laughs> So shoutouts today go to our sponsor, the LIFD Magnetic Display, the number one way to support my channel currently and the true duelist approved way to show off your Sephira and your Saravis and your whoops couldn't find Diviner. I guess I'll just throw a Necroz in because it's blue and I don't have the $100 ritual monster. Relatable, I know. So, if you want to help me out, or want to help yourself to a 15% discount, go ahead and use my promo code YGOSTRATS15 at checkout, and I'll send a big fat thankies from Expankies for you doing so. Shoutouts to LIFD for the support as always, and shoutouts to you for watching, gamer. So that'll wrap it up for this new card report. Just covering some of the new cards revealed in this one, the regular update will be out on Friday as usual. Until then, I've been your host, Craig Fee. And make sure you subscribe to YGO Strats. For this week's update, to impress your smoking Italian wife, and so you too can be a true duelist. Saravis, the Sagely Silent Force or Dragon. It's got the same stats as the original Ritual, as well as, you know, the...